My dream for the future is that the society has realized this energy transition and that energy storage is not a limitation for our daily life. That this has just became a very standard with optimized conditions in capacity, charging time and lifetime. Now at the Center for Energy Innovation here at the University of Twente, we combine all research on energy applications. And this is crucial to realize the, the energy transition. The Twente Center of Advanced Battery Technology is a center that brings together different expertises over the full life cycle of batteries. And that's what it makes it very unique, uh, from the material side over manufacturing to the system applications and also later uh, end of life. The contribution in, in my group is really focused on the materials and the chemistries inside of the battery cells. Where we're looking into the advanced lithium-ion battery technologies with new type of materials, but also with other material systems which go beyond lithium, which we hopefully can be uh, expecting in a couple of years' time. We focus on two applications. On the one hand side is stationary energy storage, which is important to integrate renewable energies uh, into the grid, for example. And the other one are electric vehicles, where of course uh, batteries play an important role to make uh, electric mobility possible. Here at the, the university there are over 30 research groups involved in, uh, in battery uh, research over all these different expertises and there is uh, quite some collaboration between the different groups. We have a strong collaboration with the University of Münster. Uh, we have a very strong connection to Forschungscenter Jülich and the Fraunhofer Institute. Uh, but of course, we're also collaborating with many other universities and European programs, but also globally across the whole world. My dream for the future is that we in Europe actually can produce batteries on a larger scale which are cost efficient but also sustainable from an environmental perspective because uh, this is still one of the main challenges related to battery production.